think we're live. Yay, we are. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Halloween edition of our live specimen sale. It is time. And I've got a, I mean, I think it's going to be 90 minutes. It depends. <laughs> we'll see. We, we never fully know. I am thrilled to see you, though. We're going to have a lot of fun today. The, the items in today's specimen sale, some of them have taken us months to um, order and to get into stock because a lot of the things have been chosen with intention for this time of year, for the season, for the work that we're doing. Um, a lot of the things I'm showing you, there's one of them, there's three of them. So um, let me explain to you how this works. Is there anybody here who's never been to a live specimen sale before? Is there anybody here who's a spec sale virgin? As it were, we're going to help you lose your virginity today. <laughs> you know, in a with crystals, it's it's different. Oh, it's awesome. So Candace is new. Cam's new. Sheree hasn't been to a live spec sale. That's awesome. Shantana's here and new. Deborah's here. So lots of new, in fact. So I want to welcome all of you guys. If you're not new, I always like to say you're old in the best, most loving way. I'm also old. Um, but uh, some of us are more experienced. So um, whether you're new or, or you know, you've been here for all of them, we've been doing specimen sales at Sage Goddess for, I don't know, live, we've been doing it for at least a year. Hasn't it been, Alexis? At least a year. So, yes. And then online, we've been doing them for six or seven years now. So this is a really fun part of what we do. <laughs> Cindy's like, I'm a crone. Um, Cindy, uh, Cindy Black says, I'm ancient. I love my ancient crones. Um, and so here's how it works. We cherry pick these items and because you know oftentimes there's a sale or something happening at sagegoddess.com today i think with code ancestor it's 14 percent off by the way on sagegoddess.com and then you get a gemstone duo of turritella agate and leopard skin jasper which are really important stones for ancestral contact and you get a sticker with your order so that's kind of fun that's happening with main things on sage goddess so just so you know, we also take that percentage off of the things that come into specimen sale and sometimes even more. Sometimes it's up to 20, sometimes even 25% off in the live specimen sale. So it's the best quality stuff at the best prices and you're buying exactly what I show you, which is the other fun part of it. Um, here are the rules. And so it's first come, first serve. And as soon as I tell you what the thing is and how much it costs, you can buy it. And you buy it by saying sold. And so that's the way you purchase. As soon as you claim it, you have 24 hours to send your payment total to uh, gems at sagegoddess.com via PayPal. And so you have 24 hours to pay, basically, and so until this time tomorrow. Um, and, and we ship it to you. Now, shipping is included in the price of the item, unless you live outside the United States, in which case you have to add $5. And I'll tell you something, a lot of times we end up losing money on shipping with spec sale because the reality is to get it to you in Dubai or South Africa or New Zealand is more than $5, but we absorb the rest of that. And so that's kind of our gift to you. And then we have an incredible giveaway today and we have an incredible charity item today. We always do at least one item um, where the proceeds of your purchase go not to me or, or Sage Goddess, but to a charity of your choosing. And um, I, don't, I don't tell you what the charity item is up front because I don't want you to buy something for that. I want you to buy the stone because you love it. And then the side benefit is one of you gets to choose a charity and all of those proceeds go back. So Hawaii is up, your, your shipping is included. And so if you are on the mainland or in the Hawaiian Islands, your shipping is all rolled into the price. Does that help? Um, I'm joined by my incredible team, as always, with me. And so I want to thank them as well for all of their hard work. It takes a village to bring a spec sale to you, but uh, a village of really awesome people. So Alaska, I believe, is also shipping included. I don't think we charge more for Alaska, but Canada, Canada will be $5 extra. But let us know if you have any questions. Um, please make sure that your internet speed is high. If, if it's lagging, it's not us, it's you. Okay, and so if your kids are like mine and they're somewhere in another room on the YouTubes, you might want to close their computer until you've had your fun because they can mess with your vibe over here. You can go ahead and laugh, but that should happen sometimes. <laughs> so um, thank you for that, Colin. I am back from my journey and uh, what a profound experience it was. So I'm, uh, I'm enjoying my my work right now and, and these moments more than ever because it's um, coming off of that experience. 
there's nothing quite like it. So get your tea and your kombucha. I double fist it during live spec sale because I'm talking nonstop for 90 minutes and that's just how we roll. So you're gonna see me pause once in a while to, uh, to do that. And so we are gonna get started. Oh, I'm so glad, thank you Maria for that. So um, now the question is, is it when I state the price or when SG types it? Is it when you guys type it? Okay, so it's when Hannah and Golnaz type the thing. That is your ready, set, go. But they're, they're waiting for me to tell you. Ah, oh, thank you, Nicole. I see you too. It's wonderful to see you. Okay. You feel it, Coral? That's really awesome. There's a different vibration, but every time I go into that journey space, I come out modified. I think a higher vibrating version of myself. And so um, it's my anti-aging plan. Some people go have plastic surgery. I journey. You can take the years off one way or you can take the years off another way. I prefer the plants as opposed to the other more drastic measures. <laughs> All right, Renee's about to burst. Let me get started. Um, I want to start with a uh, selenite sphere. Can we do that? Ooh. That's just feeling really right. Let me start with the heaviest thing while Alexis isn't, you know, at the beginning because I'm going to wear her out by Ooh. the time we're done. This isn't the heaviest. <laughs> That's true. It isn't. Yeah, That's true. It isn't. Okay. I'm going to tell you I have four of these. And they're $105. And I've never had selenite spheres for you this big. Look at the light play there. So um, you can go ahead and jump in <laughs> whenever you're ready. Um, why do you need selenite? This is like a dream selenite sphere, by the way, because this size is, this size will clean a whole house. Um, selenite, the way I want you to think about selenite is it's the divine white light of the creator. I think of it as just a pure beam of protection. And so when you have a sphere this size, it really cl can cleanse and purify an entire home. Selenite instantly clears anything it's near. So it will clear the energy in your home. This is a fun one to have in your bedroom um, or someplace where you need to rest because a lot of times the reason we can't sleep is that the frequency is off and our, our body is registering it even if our mind isn't. And sometimes your body and your mind are registering them. So I only have four of these beauties. It's gonna come with a stand, a nice big stand. So as soon as you get it home, you can put it wherever it needs to be. This should be in your meditation space. This should be in your home. Um, selenite, the ancient Greeks, I would hold that for you longer, but it's actually really heavy. The ancient Greeks um, believed that Selene, the goddess of the moon, was trapped in there. And that's where the word or the name Selenite came from. So they, they couldn't figure out why it glowed like that. And did you know, I'm, my father's family, my lineage is, is from Crete, which is the island just beneath the mainland of Greece. And King Minos, who was the king of Crete, built his entire palace out of Selenite. Um, and what's terrible, quick story, I just finished writing my, my second book called Crystal Lore, and I tell this whole story in the book, but basically he built his castle out of selenite, all of the walls. Can you imagine what that must have looked like when sunlight hit that? The whole thing would glow. Um, but gypsum is water soluble, and so over time it started to disintegrate. They went in a few years ago and started reconstruction on certain parts of King Minos's palace. But the, the people doing the reconstruction didn't realize, they tried to plaster, it breaks my heart, in between the layers of selenite, thinking they could sort of put it back together. The plaster caused the disintegration, further disintegration of the selenite. So it actually became this big sloppy mess when in fact they were trying to put the palace back together again. And so um, word to the wise, no plaster on your selenite, I mean, honestly, there's no excuse for that. We know enough about the lapidary world at this point that gypsum is water soluble. Like, I mean, I'm sorry, but where is Sage Goddess when you need her? <laughs> like, um, maybe not the smartest tool in the shed uh, working on that particular project. But anyway, um, all right, are those are those spoken for? Okay, um, who got selenite spheres? So they went to Nicole B. Nicole B. Congrats. Fontis. Fontis. Anna and Kelly. And Kelly. Congratulations, girls. Big beams of white light are coming to you. Um, one of the most beautiful protection um, energies that you can call into your home is that divine white light. And, and Archangel Michael carries that light. 
Um, so does Uriel. So if you're interested in working with that, you can actually use that sphere to anchor that those beams of white light that come from the Archangel frequencies. And it's a very powerful way to protect your home. So congratulations, you guys. Oh, the prices tonight are nuts. Because I don't know if you know this, but half the time my team will come up with a price and I go through and slash them. I drive them out of their flipping mind. I'm like, no, I want to charge less for that. I want to charge less for that. I know, Renee, we're getting there. There's so much tonight that everybody's waiting for. Let's talk about copper smudge bowls. So um, I have five of these. <laughs> so these are coming with a free sage bundle because I bought these. This, I, I cherry picked each one of these. Um, and it's because a lot of them had holes in the bottom. So I picked the ones that did not. And I did that so that you can use this as a smudging bowl. Copper, of course, conducts energy like nothing else. It's the most powerful conductive metal. And so, I mean, doesn't that just look beautiful? Wouldn't you just love to have that sitting on your altar? I love these so much. Okay, so there's five of these. Comes with a sage bundle. These are $108, <coughs> 108 each. Aren't they gorgeous? So they're all the same size. They all roughly look the same and none of them have holes in the bottom because how mad would you be at me if you were walking around your home with your smudging herbs and all of a sudden looked down and there was ash all over the floor. So I was really, really careful not to, not to pick ones with holes in them. Um, so congratulations. I think it's just, honestly, I, I try to bring things to the sale that I would want and I completely go crazy for these. I have two friends who are sending me on a mission because they want bigger ones as serving pieces for food because they want to conduct energy through their food, which I think is really interesting. So um, everybody in my life is obsessed with these, including me and everybody I know. So you are not alone. Congrats to those who got the copper bowls. You've been waiting patiently since Denver when I showed those to you, and it just takes us a minute to kind of get everything out of the boxes and, and get it going, so congratulations. Yeah, Denise, those are our signature sage bundles. That That's actually how Sage got us started. I, a lot of people open an Etsy shop thinking they're starting a business, and I didn't. I was just trying to sell my little sage bundles to my friends who were <laughs> on the East Coast. I did not want to start a business, um, and I kept listing them, and they would sell out, but it wasn't my friends. I didn't know who the hell was buying my little sage bundles until I realized like, oh, people want that because I was the first one to bring uh, rose and sage and lavender together on Etsy. Now you find them all over the place, but we were the OGs of that. So I'm really happy to be sending some of those along with the copper bowls for you. Okay, let's go to um, Opalina. All right, um, I'm gonna talk to you about opal for a minute because it's, it's medicine that I work with. Um, and in particular, you'll notice the necklace that I'm wearing has a fire opal on it. Um, I was wearing a necklace yesterday that had an Ethiopian opal on it, if you noticed. Um, that's my jam uh, for spiritual integration. Whenever I do big, heavy-duty spiritual work, you'll see me wearing opal for about two weeks afterward. And that's because I was shown in Journey. And this is part of what I try to bring to you. I learn a lot about crystals by working with them and by working with the spirit world. I didn't read this in any book. It was my spirit guides who taught me that if you have an intense spiritual experience and you want to bring that wisdom into your body for healing, which is ultimately what has to happen, it has to go from here to be integrated into your, into your DNA. Um, opal is the stone for that. Opal takes what is external to you and internalizes it and helps you integrate it on a cellular level, on a spiritual level. Felicia's saying she's been drawn to it lately. And you know what's interesting, and LaFon's kid loves opals, there, people are coming around to opal now who never liked it before. And it's like, why is that? And my, my rationale for it is I think our planet is going through the birth canal. I've told you this before. I think we're in labor. Labor sucks in case you haven't experienced it. It's not going to be your favorite time in your life. That's probably the shittiest 24 hours a woman can experience. But, of course, on the other side of it is life. And so that's what opal is. Opal is taking the difficult part of your spiritual transformation and making it into what is usable and beautiful and showing you the beauty behind the challenges of your life. So I have two different forms of opal in the sale today. I have opal rings. This is, um, we may have to work with the light because this is a, these are Ethiopian opals. Oh, there it is. No, we got it. Ethiopian opal. So I have a handful of these rings coming for you in just a couple of minutes. And they're open on the back. It's always a trick to find Ethiopian opal in sterling silver that's open on the back 
the way you want it to be for energy work. But these are opal too. These are opal spheres. Um, I've never had opal spheres for you before. So this is a, a one time. I have two different sizes. The small, I have seven. This is the size small. And on all of these, I found little hearts. So it'll be this process of you finding the little heart in your opal sphere. And then this is the large, and I have four of this size. This is a new pocket that was found in Peru last year. It's a compression of blue and green opal from Peru, which is where blue, the best blue opal in the world comes from. That is not turquoise, that is opal. Um, and so the small opal is $96. Again, I have seven of them. Think about getting an opal sphere this size for under $100. We're not talking about Jasper. We're not talking about we're talking about opal, one of the rarest stones in the world. Do you know that I bought these directly from the person who mined it, who also polished it, and this was all he had, which tells you something. When the supplier has less than a dozen of something, that's how you know you've got something really special. So I have seven of the small for $96, and then I have four of the large for $116. Now, if you're a collector of opals like I am, there's even pink in there. Look at that. It's a compression of different minerals, but that blue and green opal is beyond to me. Isn't that beautiful? It looks like an entire planet. Oof. Okay, so opal is transformation. The, the old crystal lore about opal, by the way, which again is, my, is in my book. In my book, I wrote about more than 100 different gemstones, all your favorites, the origin stories, where they come from, the geology of it, and the mythology of it. Um, opal, the legend is that that the gods created opal with their footsteps. And so when the ancient Greek gods came down from Mount Olympus, every time they took a footstep down, opals would appear under their feet because that's how powerful gods are. When they take a step, they make an opal. Um, and so that was the original origin story. That origin story led Cleopatra be to become obsessed with opals and to one-up Mark Antony, and this is stories in my book too, she told Mark Antony that she knew how to throw the most expensive dinner party in history. And he dared her. And she did that by taking off her opal earring, which was worth millions of dollars in that day's time. So you can imagine what it would be worth now. She took her earring off, put it in her mouth, and swallowed it with wine. And then looked at him, as you can imagine she might have, <laughs> because she did by swallowing what would today probably be a $20 million opal, she officially made it the most expensive dinner party of all time. All the legends of opals. And opals come from Ethiopia, they come from Australia, they come from all over the world. Fire opals come uniquely from Mexico. This is opalina from Peru. So congratulations to you guys who are who are working with this medicine. And let me tell you something, when you start working with opal, you say yes to transformation. You say yes to integration. You say yes to your soul's development. You say yes to stepping into a new frequency. So if you're really ready, this is one of the stones that can create transformation for you. Oh, thank you, Olivia. I really appreciate that. I'll give you a kiss. And um, well, Denise, we don't know about how the opal uh, worked on the other end of her. You know, it's it's a it's a really um, <laughs> it's a sexy story until you think about the next day. <laughs> I didn't really follow that story to think about the exit strategy there. It must have been a bumpy ride. That's all I'll say. I you don't see me eating earrings. You know, I, I like to prove a point. I'm not going that far. <laughs> but you know what? Back in the day, somebody would have been waiting at the other end of that experience to collect that earring. If it's worth $20 million, you're going to suck it up and, and look for it. Somebody did, I'm sure. <laughs> I love you guys. You have such a funny sense of humor. I do, too. It's gross, but you know you laughed a little bit. All right. Um, do we have any opal spheres left? No, nope, those are gone. Okay. Do you want to, what was it? Did you want to go through them now or do you want me to come back to you? Okay. Let's talk about opal um, and selenite if we can. Yep. So um, the large opaline spheres. Okay. To Suzanne and Kasha. Suzanne and Kasha. This is large opaline spheres. And Janet and Kelly. And Janet and Kelly. And then the small ones went to Fontice and Renee. 
Okay, small ones went to Renee and Fontese. Serafina and Debbie. Serafina and Debbie. Congrats, girls. Oria and Cheryl. Oria and Cheryl. And Sarah Lucas. And Sarah Lucas. That's right. <laughs> yes, she did. Um, congrats, you guys. That is really, I, I'm happy for you because those are so beautiful. And again, like I will always tell you, if I see something every so often, it's not as special as something like that where I literally had never seen an opal sphere like that before. I've seen blue opal spheres about this big for like a bajillion bucks. Because again, it's, it's difficult to carve. You have to have the finest quality material. It's, you just don't see them very often. So I'm really thrilled for you guys. Ah, Mia's touch said she's being good. <laughs> okay, shall we talk about the skulls? The, the amethyst, why not? I love you, Alexis. Instead of going like, oh God, it's so heavy. She's like, yes, like this, let's talk about it. This is the okay. <laughs> okay, you wanna come in here with me? Okay. Here he is. There are two. There are two. There are only two. Okay. <laughs> this is no joke. Um, I want to show you something because this tells you about our carvers. This was, um, hold on. Okay. <clears throat> this was another amethyst point growing out of the back here they could have shaved that off but they didn't do you see the hexagonal structure right there of this piece right here they carved around it which i love so much that's the mark of somebody who is trying to leave the beauty of the stone intact but even the back of it is unbelievable right here's the top <laughs> isn't that is a thousand terminations on this piece like i've never seen anything like this now here's another one they only had two he only carved two this is it. And there is his beautiful face. Isn't he handsome? And you're so handsome. He's like, thank you, I know. It's hard to be this handsome. Okay, there are only two of these. They are smoky and there's phantoms. I don't know if you see, even on his forehead is a big phantom. Do you see that right there? <laughs> okay, these are, this is the most expensive item of the show, won't surprise you. These are 2,200 a piece. Hand carved. There's only two because he explained it was one of the hardest things they've ever carved. Because again, you're having to work with the natural extension of the hair and keeping that, <laughs> it's a big piece. And then you're working around the other terminations. Isn't that incredible? Woo! Right? I mean, it is. This isn't for everybody, but this is what we do with the live specimen sale. We like to kind of knock your socks off. So we do bring in once in a while these bigger pieces that are absolute showstoppers. And these were incredibly expensive for us to buy, um, really. So we really just brought them in to show you and to have something amazing for you. I'm gonna give it back to you, Alexis. Oof. I mean, that is, I don't know how many pounds that is. I lift weights and I was still hurting there for a minute. <laughs> Woo. So that's there for you. Again, it's not, not for everybody, but I definitely have customers who come to the live spec sale looking for big, sexy, wanting to have like the once in a lifetime pieces. That's once in a lifetime. So 2200 for that. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, and it's, it's like I said, it's not for everybody. We have, we have some clients who want that and then some clients who want smaller pieces. And so we try to make sure there's something for everybody in, um, in the sales. So those are there. <laughs> <laughs> I know it is a holy shit for sure. Okay. I'll come back to that and show you again, but that is called the amethyst cluster skull, which what an understatement that is. That is, that is amethyst magic man <laughs> with, um, really good hair. He's got really good hair. That is wizard hair right there. It is amethyst. It is it is phantom amethyst with smoky quartz. Um, but it's a very special, that, that kind of termination, just FYI, again, this is like to teach you a little bit, that particular kind of termination with all those points on top, that's new. That was a new pocket in Brazil that we started seeing at Tucson, I wanna say two years ago. It's the first time we'd seen any pieces of that. And actually this year in Denver, I was live and I showed you guys, they actually had, they dug up a huge piece of that and I was able to show you what they call the root system of those crystals. They're like micro terminations, but they, they come out in these like sprays that looks like a bouquet of flowers. Isn't it beautiful? 
So I think one of them, I'm not sure, um, but I think one of them will be on display here at SGHQ and then one of them will probably be um, um, in, our, in our warehouse. They don't come with stands, but we could turn you on to someone who could make a stand for that. There, there are these incredible folks who take the dimensions of the pieces that you have, custom pieces where you want to have a stand built out of iron, um, and so we can help you um, source that as well. Yeah, they were, some of them were calling it a Lestial Amethyst. Um, technically, it's not a Lestial, so I don't call it that. I'm, I'm very careful about how I describe things because it, technically it isn't a Lestial. But I think they have a hard time describing it with other words because it, it isn't really like any other amethyst that we've worked with before. Um, this is a Lestial Amethyst. <laughs> so it's, you can see, and this is from Brazil too, um, but you can see how radically different it is. This is skeletal Lestial Amethyst. Oh, and guess what? Would you like to look at this? <laughs> mm. Isn't this a beautiful wand? Hmm. Isn't it beautiful? It's a twin. Do you see the two terminations? It's a twin. And it's skeletal. And why do we call it skeletal? Do you see how you can see its, its guts? Right? You can see every single line of that formation. That's because all of the organic material, all of the water that used to be in this quartz as it formed is all gone now. And so what it leaves behind is the skeleton. Yeah, Sarah, Sarah knows me too well. You can't buy this because I'm giving it away. The retail value of this piece is about, I think we said 200? Yes. About $200, but you can't buy it because I'm giving it to you. Um, the yellow inclusions here are iron inclusions, which is a very common inclusion to see in your, isn't it fun? You guys have Alexis to thank for this. She picked this giveaway, so thank you, Alexis. She brought it to me, and I was like, giveaway? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> so who is this going home to? This is a holy shit piece. What was that? <laughs> it's a holy shit piece. We don't refer to everything as holy shit pieces around here, but some of them they are, and this, this is a holy shit. Iron is really good to have in your quartz because it's really good for uh, strengthening you. It improves circulation of energy flow through your, through your body systems and through your, your um, energetic systems too. All right. Whew. <laughs> it's, it is my calming stone too, Janet. I, you know what? It, it really is. That's how I think about it too. Okay, let me see where I'm getting, I get a little zing up my back when I, when I see the name of the person who's supposed to have it. That's how I follow the energy line and track it to its owner. Okay. Okay, I think, I think I know where this is going. Okay, here's an interesting um, connection. I just did a reading for a beautiful soul uh, this afternoon, as I do live readings from 2 to 3 p.m. And um, her name is Sarah. And I told Sarah during her reading today that she is to write a book. And I received very specific guidance for Sarah about what she's to write and how she's to write it. And so Sarah, I'm going to gift this to you because I do think it's, it is a tool that you can use that will teach you through its celestial ancient wisdom. It will help you channel the wisdom that you need to answer the questions that are coming through you in service of helping to heal the planet and helping to heal everyone around you. So congratulations, Sarah. It absolutely was a whoo, yes. And a beautiful way of connecting the work that we did earlier to the work that we're doing now. So Sarah, um, I, if you don't mind, with your permission, I would like to do a little work with this piece before I send it to you, because I feel like maybe there's something from my ayahuasca journey that I can transfer here for you. Look at the lines in this, you guys. Like, look at that. Do you see that right there? All those lines. Think of it like rings of a tree. Each one of those lines of development of this crystal, that could be a hundred years, a thousand years, right? 
what was happening on the planet at that time. Isn't it remarkable? All right. Cheers, Sarah. Does she see that she won it? Which Sarah? Sarah Woodcock. Yeah, she saw. She said, please. Okay, good. Because she is the one I just did the reading for last uh, two hours ago in my uh, holistic healer group. Oh. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Okay, awesome. Okay, I'm just going to sit with it in meditation for you, Sarah, and ask if there's any any information that I can um, imprint into it for you to help transfer that wisdom from the mother to you as to guide your process, and I will do that this afternoon, and then I will um, send that out to you. So the readings happen in my Holistic Healer group every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. live, and I get to as many people as I can. They're just intuitive channeled readings, but I ended up um, channeling a little bit for the group today. So even those who didn't get an individual reading still got a group channel reading, which was really fun. So um, if you'd like to join us, you're more than welcome. I'm going to be doing those every Wednesday, excuse me, from 2 to 3 Pacific time all the way through the end of the year. So that's kind of an exciting thing. Oh, I'm so glad. That's so awesome. Okay. That was a lot of energy. Whew. Okay. Um, let's do Shasta ones. It's fun just to listen, honestly, because, you know, when, when spirit wisdom comes through, it's, it's usually for one person, but it, it, again, it's always the collective shapes the information that comes through. It always does, because we're all connected. So whatever is relevant for you turns out to be kind of relevant for me, too. You're very welcome, Jane. It was a pleasure to have you there. Okay, these are, these are really special, and I won't have these again for you for at least another year because now she has to go and collect them. This was one year of collecting from this magical woman who hand makes these wands and brought them all to me. Um, she goes to Mount Shasta. She chooses the uh, wand. She charges the quartz. And then she hand wire wraps in copper and attaches another crystal to the base so that you have a single terminated wand. This is the kind of wand that I use to open circle. If you ever see me doing this, and then when I close the circle, it's back the other way. And so this is something that should be on your altar all the time. You can do healing work with this. You can do psychic surgery with a wand like this. Because what's really cool is the bottom termination of her wands tends to be either a grounding stone or some kind of talisman of movement of energy. This one she did with a seashell um, and a little stone from the other side. Basically, she goes to Shasta and then she goes to the coast. And so everything on the other end of the wand is designed to hold energy or move energy. And this is designed to raise energy. This one is terminated with a twin crystal. And she's really picky about her crystals. Every single crystal she terminates it with, there's intention. And then she put a tag on to tell you what kind of wood yours is made of. And these are a mix of driftwood, um, uh, what's called madrone, silver maple, redwood, willow, and I think that might be it, redwood, birch, and birch. So that's all the combination of the wands. Um, and so we only have, and each one is slightly different, but they all have the same intention, which is alignment direction of energy and integration of energy. I have one of these wands and let me tell you I keep it at home and it is one of the most powerful wands that I have. This woman is no joke um, and I specifically asked her to bring these to me for holiday gifts and so you might think about getting this for yourself but you also might think about gifting this to someone for the holidays because where else are you going to get a wand made and charged in the most power, one of the most powerful vortex points in the United States? Mount Shasta is believed to be on top of what everyone says is Middle Earth. is basically the entry point for those who are thought to, believe, to be living in the center of our planet right now. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's a long story. Go to YouTube. <laughs> so it's a long story. Um, but it's believed that when Lemuria fell, that many of the priests and priestesses went to Mount Shasta and then some of them went into the center of the earth where they have developed their own civilization that continues today. But that's why Mount Shasta is considered to be such an important vortex point of energy. 
Isn't that interesting? Okay, so we have how many of these, Alexis? Where's my sheet? We have 14 of these. It's all the ones that you see here, and these are... There we are, 159 each. 159 each. And I'll kind of gather up just a collection of them so you can see. Aren't they beautiful? So they're all similar, but they're all slightly different too. And I told her I would take them all because I have worked with her tools and I will tell you they are no joke. And I'm a wand collector. I like to have wands made of different materials but who makes my wands is really important. And let me tell you, she's the same woman who makes um, my other wands that you've seen before. I've had this wand for, uh, this is closing in on, I think about 10 years now since she made this one for me. So she also makes gemstone wands that you've seen before, but her wood wands are totally different, mm -hmm. especially if you're trying to ground your energy, if you're more into a druid type of practice where the tree people, the tree spirits are important guides for you. Um, it's a unique experience. So again, this could be something for you or it could be a holiday gift, but this will be the last of our Shasta wands, at least for a year until she goes and gathers more. And I really love that. I love that all she had was 14. You know what I mean? This isn't someone who's nothing is mass produced. This is all made piece by piece. She takes a week to make each wand which when you think about it, $150 for something that took someone a week, you know what I mean, to cut the wood, to charge the crystal, to attach, to wire wrap, to choose the beads, to think about the other termination, to you know, take it again and charge it, because she charges the wands when they're complete in Shasta. Aren't they cool? Okay. Ah, uh, safe travels, Riley. Thank you for being here for a little while. We loved having you in our space. This, our community loves each other too. We're here for the crystals, but we really all also do like to spend time with each other too, which is really special. Okay, do we have anything else to announce or should we, should <coughs> no, I move forward? Do the wands, you wanna do the wands? Okay. I'm so excited to know who got them. Okay, we went to Wooey Lover. Wooey Lover got one. Messina Sings. Messina Sings. Liz and Angela. Liz and Angela. Mary and Katana. Mary and Katana. Brandy and Renee. Kasha and Kelly. Kasha and Kelly. Deborah and Lori. Deborah and Lori. Vane Black Rose. Vane Black Rose. And Sugar Crazed Ducky. Sugar Crazed Ducky. That might be my favorite. <laughs> I want to know what a Sugar Crazed Ducky looks like. Congratulations, you guys. Seriously. The energy of those, don't you guys think? It's different. It's it's not it's not like any other wand and so that's why I'm a big 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 believer this is the one by the way this batch I kept one because I couldn't put it down and I think you'll have that experience too when you're just like okay I can't put that down it must be meant to be so I hope I set the intention that you feel that same buzz and connection when your piece arrives I think you're going to love it uh, Liz says my druid heart is singing <laughs> I love that my druid heart is singing too for you okay um let's do let's talk about the harlequin i'm ready for that oh, okay i'm gonna tell you a little story about harlequin quartz um it's going to start with telling you a story about my personal dysfunction so this should be interesting when i when i fall in love and it's always been this way whether it's with a person or um a crystal or the next thing i'm most likely to fall in love with in life is food because I'm Greek and I have a dysfunctional relationship with food. Not so much now, but I used to. When I fall in love with a restaurant or a kind of food or a crystal or a person, I get really crazy weird about it at first. Gotta have it all the time. Gotta be with it all the time. If it's a food, I gotta eat it all the time. If it's a crystal, I gotta find all of them, okay? I was turned on to Harlequin Quartz about three years ago, three and a half, almost four years ago now, when I really started to see it, okay? And I would find a piece at Tucson, or I would find a piece at Denver. And so whenever I saw it, and I told my team, if you see it, just buy it. And they would find one and they would keep it for me, okay? I'm a little OCD, shall we say, it's okay. I honestly think OCD can serve you well. I, I think people go to medicate themselves when they have OCD, and they don't realize that sometimes your OCD is a gift. 
because what you get obsessed about is probably something that you're meant to be working with. You gotta be in good relationship to it, but I tend to overdo it. <laughs> okay, now, so I have a collection at home of all the pieces over those years that I was able to find. It was never much. I never brought it to the shop because I couldn't find it, okay? Um, just this year, I've started to find a few more pieces, but again, not a lot. Five here, 10 there. When I found these pieces at Denver, this is a generator, by the way. Given how I feel about this material, you can imagine my reaction. Now, I want you to try and really look closely at this. Harlequin quartz is quartz that has lipidocrosite and hematite inclusions. Lipidocrosite is one of the minerals in the Super 7 configuration. And in the Super 7, lipidocrosite heals trauma. And in particular, it heals past life trauma. The shit that you're still carrying around in this lifetime. Well, I didn't know that at first when I started working with it, okay? But I am here, incarnated in this lifetime, to clear my ancestral lineage so that I don't have to continue to reincarnate and my children have clear DNA. Does that make sense? I'm very clear that that's why I'm here. I'm here to transmute my own you know, ancestral lineage so I can heal my own physical body and, and heal my line forward and then not come back anymore, okay? A lot of you know that that's why you're here too. So there's the beauty of the minerals and they are beautiful. I mean, look at that, this is a phantom. Do you see how it's phantoming? All those dark shady patches, like, it's absolutely beautiful and it sparkles because that those hematite flakes and that lipidocrosite. Um, lipidocrosite are the little sort of strings. Do you see in there like little black red strings of, of material all along here? And it does, it sparkles all day long, it's beautiful. But for me, it's more about the energy of these pieces and the work that they do. Look at this one, you guys. Look at the full triangle on the face of this one. Do you see that right there? perfect triangle with phantom. See that dark line? That's your phantom right there. Okay. Um, and then there's one more piece here which has, this one actually has, in addition to the lipidocrosite, has marcasite. All these are little slices of marcasite. You can kind of see it how it catches the light. And then there's all the lipidocrosite, the little red um, strings of material, like little red dots all along it. Okay. Um, we have, the energy of these is so overwhelming to me. It's a natural high. That's <laughs> what it is. Okay, I have two medium, one large, one extra large. These are your medium pieces. This is the large, I only have one, the big triangle dude. Let me turn it right side up. That's the large. And then this is the, holy shit, clearing all that trauma out, extra large piece. And this is flat on the bottom, stands up. Okay, this one stands up as well. The small, I have two small, they are, I'm sorry, two medium. They are $120 each, which is a crazy ass price because shipping is included. $120 each for the small. The medium is, I'm sorry, the large is $180. It's a holy shit price. I have paid this wholesale for pieces that are smaller than this when I was trying to get my hands on it, okay? And then the large piece, the extra large, the big, big one, is 400 Oof. This should be 800 It's four. And it's heavy. Again, I mean, you're not paying shipping, which is the other big benefit of being in spec sale. And so I think they speak for themselves. <laughs> I'm excited to see who gets these. If there had been more, I would have bought them. This is another one of those ones where it's like, I'm telling you, I got obsessed. I have seen the energy that these pieces have moved in my own life, and I'm excited for you to experience it too. Because you're not going to heal trauma until you start to heal your line. 
And I feel bad for us. So many of us think that our anxiety and our fear and our sadness and our anger, we think it's all ours. And the reality is it's your grandmothers and your grandfathers and your mothers and your great uncles. And it's all in the soup of who you are. And until you can transmute and move those energies through, unfortunately, the only body they have to anchor in is yours. And so crystals are one tool you can use to move the energy. There's lots of different ways to move energy. Bless you, bless you. But it's a powerful one. <laughs> All right. I'm excited to uh, woo. I'm excited to see who, uh, who got those. Do you guys want to go through it? You need a minute? Is there anything else we should go through, Gomez? Um, we could do dance. No, but we could do these um, Harlequin Sports. Okay. Which one? The ones we just did. Oh, you want to do it? Okay. Yeah. All um, right. The medium went to Leanne and Denise. Leanne and Denise got the medium pieces. Congrats, girls. Large went to April. Large goes to April. Extra large goes to Kasha. And extra large goes to Kasha. You're doing some good work with those pieces. And um, I just set the intention that all the energy that is ready to be cleared will be cleared for you with ease and grace. But truly, I will tell you that that's one of those crystals where it's enough just to have it in the space. It's enough just to hold it. It's enough just to meditate with it. You don't have to, there's no key you have to unlock. Those crystals have come through to do this work with you. And that the work that Lepidocrosite in particular can do for trauma is unlike anything I've ever seen. Other crystals for trauma, just so you know, Dioptase um, is really good. That green crystal right there, I've offered it before in spec sale. That's Dioptase, that's also very good. Um, that's why it's on this pendant. I had this custom made for myself and that's why it's there because when I integrate, a lot of times I'm trying to integrate uh, the release of trauma from my ancestral line and I'm doing all the same work that you guys are doing. I don't have all the answers, but I do have some tools. So congratulations to all of you. Ooh, um, yep, okay. Let's switch gears to something more fun than ancestral karma and trauma. <laughs> Which can be fun if you're clearing it out. You know what I mean? It's not all, it's not all a sad story. Okay. We've done something crazy with these. We, had, we didn't do surprise bags last time, but this is the Samhain edition. And so we are doing um, Samhain Halloween bags. You're not going to believe this. Okay, so these are $75 a piece. I have 15 of them. They're worth at least $150 a piece. So let me tell you what's going into these bags. Are you ready? Everybody gets a Samhain candle in their, in their bag. And we have about 15 different Halloween Samhain candles. So you don't know which kind you're going to get. Isn't this fun? Everybody gets <laughs> their skull poured candle. These are all handmade here at Sage Goddess. Palo Santo. They're, they're poured with Palo Santo essential oil. And they have Palo Santo chips and dust on top. I'm sorry. I want that. Okay, everybody gets a skull shot glass because you need a, sh a skull shot glass. You don't have to drink whiskey out of it. You can drink kombucha out of it. Okay, everybody gets three Halloween perfumes. You realize that's almost $100 right there, right? So this person is getting Raven, Samhain, and Cauldron. No, wait, there's more. <laughs> You get your Salon flash tattoos, moon phases, and spirit animals. Everybody gets a gemstone skull. And everybody gets an intuitively chosen shadow stone. Um, this one is that beautiful um, spiderweb obsidian. Isn't that beautiful? And then everybody gets their Salon sticker. Isn't that fun? It's at least $150. I mean, honestly, probably close to $200. Because that's how we roll. And we also have fun putting these together. Like a ridiculous amount of fun putting these together. Nobody's is going to be the same. But everybody does get the Palo Santo candle. Everybody does get the shot glass. And everybody does get three perfumes. And everybody does get a skull. And everybody does get a specimen. And everybody does get flashed. And everybody does get stuff. <laughs> Can you tell I love my job? I really do. Who else gets to do this? Put all the fun things in a bag for you. What I, you know, when I built Sage Goddess, part of my, part of my intention, 
I was tired of kids having all the fun in life. Kids always get grab bags full of cool stuff and kids always get surprises and kids always get, and I thought, you know, I'm sorry, I want surprises and a grab bag and all the fun things. So um, only 15 of those. Are there still some left? I don't know. Everybody kind of went crazy for a minute. So, okay, <laughs> you lost your mind a little. Okay, we'll let you know if there's any of those left and we'll come back and let you know who got them. I'm gonna let Golnaz and Hannah catch their breath for a second, so. Whew. Was that fun? Oh, they're ready. Okay. Let me tell you who got them. Okay. They went to Debbie and Sarah. Debbie and Sarah. Coral and Lola. Coral and Lola. Michelle and Samantha. Michelle and Samantha. Dina and Danielle. Dina and Danielle. Ashley and Cynthia. Ashley and Cynthia. Mia's Touch and Dina. Ha, Mia's Touch <laughs> and Dina. <laughs> Elizabeth and Tammy. Elizabeth and Tammy. And Tracy. And Tracy. Congratulations. Oh my god, I know, Walter's like, what even is breathing? <laughs> it's like, the way this thing goes, like, you can breathe afterward, right? When it's all, when it's all said and done. Congratulations. So, you enjoy being a kid like me. And it'll be fun for you, because you kind of know what you're getting, but then you kind of don't know what you're getting. You know what the basic things are, but um, we really do aim to really blow it out of the park. And that's why, if you're new to spec sale, when you see a surprise bag, you ought to just get going because you know that Alexis and I have no self-control when it comes to that and it's just gonna be good stuff. Uh, holding space for you, Carly. When we get heavy news in life, we have to let it breathe, let it you know, flow through us. One of the things that, that was so amazing to me about my journey was this reminder. Have you ever noticed when you get um, heavy news that you contract? You go, and do you know what happens when you contract? You create trauma. Wherever you contract, wherever you stop that breathing, that is the root of disease. And so what you have to do if you want to work with energy in a healthy way, as soon as you hear something that's kind of shocking, you go, and then you go, because blowing through that energy, it's not anything you're meant to hold. And so you can allow yourself to be in that moment, but you don't want to be part of the energy. You want to be able to be a healing force, which means you need to let that flow through you. So Great Spirit, we see you. Carly, we're wrapping our, your, we're our arms around you, and we're praying for your dear friend, and we are holding the space for you. Aho. And all will be well, and all will be well, and all will be well. We have prayers and love to her family as well. Aho. Exhale. Empaths always go, we need to go watch yourself and it'll change your life that will change your practice that will change how you hold energy in your body it's really important that we learn to okay let's see um let's do that uh terminated smoky quartz can we do that one okay um so wow this is um meet my friend smoky um, Smokey has a big bar of green tourmaline through the back. Do you see that? And it's actually open. You can actually touch it. That's one of my favorite parts of this crystal is you can reach in there and actually touch that tourmaline that interrupted the growth of that beautiful smoky quartz. Isn't that gorgeous? And then all kinds of little bits of green tourmaline all the way around. This is a one of a kind. It is Lemurian. That's the other thing you need to see. This is a smoky Lemurian with green tourmaline. Um, this piece, the original price of this piece was $9.99. We're doing it tonight for $6.99. And that's it. Um, this piece is much nicer than the one I have by, this, by my front door, but that's where I would put this. You need to have, this is actually kind of a smoky citrine, by the way. It, there's like a whiskey sort of tone to it on this side so it's a it's a very light smoky that has sort of that whiskey citrine color to it too but what separates it is the green tourmaline now there's also a little bit of clevelandite on the side here which is another stone for releasing trauma so this is smoky quartz for protection green tourmaline for wisdom and discernment clevelandite for releasing of trauma i know isn't it incredible Okay, is this one going to Renee? Um, Elizabeth Baruch. Elizabeth, okay. Sometimes you guys are faster than I can possibly be. <laughs> Congratulations. 
Um, it, I, I will tell you that truly this is the most beautiful smoky quartz point I, I have ever had here at SG. Um, I've never had one that was terminated like that, and I've never had one that was Lemurian. So this is a really special piece. And like I said, we took $300 off the price today, which I think is a pretty great value, and we're shipping it to you for free. So um, put it by your front door. It's going to invite clearing mm -hmm. energies. It's going to absorb any negativity in your home, and it's going to bring a lot of wisdom to everyone who lives with you. So congratulations and so many blessings. That was a beautiful piece. Okay. Okay, I have opal rings. Whew. What are the best stones for applying to college? Uh, yellow appetite, because it helps you. Yellow appetite and fluoride for helping you manifest your soul's purpose, because the number one thing I tell college students is you need to spend your college years figuring out not just how to get a bachelor's degree, but figuring out how you're going to be in service to the world. And then green adventuring is for luck while you're applying to colleges. And what I tell, I used to be a, I used to work in college admissions. I was a professor for a long time and an administrator for a long time. And so I have a lot of experience in that area. And I used to tell students, before you send your applications in, lay them out and put a piece of quartz and a piece of green adventuring on each one. It'll raise the vibration of your application and help it to be more seen. So that's really good advice for anybody who's applying to school or for jobs too. Before you send in your resume, sit it down, pray over it, breathe over it, and put quartz and adventuring on it. It's really true. I, I actually, what I will tell my student, my children one day is if they want to go to college, I think that's great. If that's how they need to be of service to the world, but I'd much rather they figure out how to be of service in the world than, than just get a bachelor's degree just to get one. Do you know what I mean? That's a conversation for another time. Okay. But I'm glad you asked the question. So this is Ethiopian opal. How gorgeous are these rings? You guys are like little light bulbs. Do you see that? They're absolutely alive. I chose these for today because I was, I'm coming out of ayahuasca journey integration and so I'm working with opal. This one's mine. Ooh. And it's just like we talked about before, transformation and integration. Are you ready to change? Are you ready to repattern your life? Are you ready to do better, know better, act better? And then are you ready to bring that change, look at that, into your life in a way to heal yourself and heal others? So I have... So I forgot to put them on. Okay. Right here. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Alexis. Okay. In size five, for my itty bitty ladies like me, <laughs> I have two. Two size five. There's not that very many of these, I should say, to go around. And they are all... 120 dollars for Ethiopian opal in sterling silver. Again, aren't they gorgeous? This is a holy shit ring. And you're only seeing part of the show because light, light is tricky, but it's these are absolute dazzlers. Full rainbow, full spectrum of the rainbow on these. Do you want to try shutting the light off just to see if they can see more of the dispersion of color? Okay, so size five. Actually, it might be easier to see with, without, with the light. Well, there, you, there you go. You're seeing a little bit of it. Do you see that? That's how they all are. Nothing like Ethiopian opals, I'm telling you guys. If you saw my um, cuff that Nicole recently made for me, that's an Ethiopian opal too. Okay. I have two size 5, one size 5.5. You can turn the light back on, Alexis. I think we're good. Two size 5, one size 5.5. Five one size six, one size six and a half, two size seven, two size eight, one size eight and a half, two size nine. And that's because Ethiopian opals, of all the opals, tend to be the rarest and hardest to find. And they're also a little bit challenging to cut and facet, so you tend to see less cut faceted jewelry in Ethiopian. But it's my favorite. I'm biased. I like fire opal. I like boulder opal. I do, but not like I like Ethiopian opal. It's my favorite for integration. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the green and the blue and the uh. Yes, I did just groan. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay. Okay, again, I have two size five, one size five and a half. 
one size six, one size six and a half, two size seven, two size eight, one size eight and a half, two size nine. I tried to make sure I had the full spread of sizes because you can't have mine. <laughs> I'm not giving you mine. Um, what's my favorite stone? Citrine. But I only like it natural, untreated. So Congo citrine, I would have to say, is probably my favorite stone. Um, and the stones I, you know, the stones I wear every day, which are these necklaces, quartz, citrine, diamond, and sapphire. Those are those are all my favorites. I wear sapphire because I'm a teacher, and that's the teaching stone. It helps to be more articulate. Sapphire helps you um, conduct energy through your voice. Um, and through your intuition. So Sapphire ensures that you're teaching the right information and the right way to reach the right people. Um, diamond is a holy transmitter of energy. Diamond is the highest vibration stone mineral other than quartz, um, and it strengthens and purifies and detoxifies your energetic field. It's very powerful, very strong, very protective. Um, citrine brings prosperity, but not just prosperity of money. It brings prosperity of health, prosperity of happiness, prosperity across the board, associated with Lakshmi. Um, and so those are my favorite materials. And then this is John of God quartz that was blessed at the Casa um, in Brazil, where John of God heals. And so my magician pendant is, um, and then I wear that on a gold chain with diamonds. Yeah, diamond is very, very powerful. I'm actually working on, I'm, I'm trying to negotiate a raw diamond for myself because I want to make a new ring for myself. And raw diamonds are a hundredth of the cost of cut faceted, but I much prefer them. And so you can find really incredible raw diamonds. I found a raw purple diamond that I'm trying to get for myself, but I'm going to have to be really good this year for Santa to br <laughs> bring that over. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm so glad that was helpful for you. Yay. Um, I would love to do a magician pendant. I, I think this company, even though I love what they do, I think they are overpriced AF, to be honest with you. And so that's why I haven't brought these to my shop. Um, I, the only reason I bought this one is because it's John of God. It really doesn't matter to me that it's that company. It matters to me that it came from the Casa. So and because I'm a healer in the kind of work that I do, I have to carry some of that John of God energy. It's one of the highest vibrations. I have water from John of God here that another healer friend brought to me. and. Um, so I just, I just can't figure out a way to justify the cost, and I don't want to pass that on to my clients. So what I've tried to do is bring, like, magician alternatives, but at some point they're going to have to come down at price. I will tell you they weren't at Denver this year. So I don't know what that means exactly, but anyway, just sort of putting that out there for everybody. Um, we still have more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's do the, the besoms. Ah, okay. I'm going to show these to you, and they're going to be gone. Mm -hmm. I wish there were more of these, but these take days for my team to make. These are made in-house at SG. I will tell you something. I don't know if you can see it, but I see a face on the back of this one. Let me see if I can get it because the light is kind of washing it out a little bit. Can you guys hit the light really quickly just so I can show them the detail on the back? Okay. Let me see if I can show you the face. And if you can't see it now, when you get it, you'll see it. There's like a wizard face on the back of this one. And then there's the front. That's a um, titanium or an uh, aura quartz sphere. And then titanium quartz on the top. And it's got a twin uh, quartz cluster on the side. Um, aura uh, druzy chalcedony with a twin fluorite on the front and sweet grass and lavender all hand wrapped in copper here at SG. That's the first one. This, they're both the same price. These are, oh, they're 200. These are 200 a piece. Like I said, when you have items like this that take someone almost a week to work on, I actually think that's a really great deal. Now this is the light besom and this is the shadow besom. <laughs> this one has carnelian on the top the natanite, which is a butt kicker stone, that'll kick your butt right out of any kind of apathy or procrastination, <laughs> be ready for that. Sunset aura, which is really good for sacral chakra, passion, creativity. Then this has eyesurine down the front, you guys, holy shit, right, which clears your auric field. It keeps bad energy away from you. This really is about a broom of protection and clearing. It has that fire labradorite on the front, more carnelian, all the way around, 
hand wrapped in copper and again lavender and sweet grass sweet grass brings sweet spirits so once you're done clearing the negative energy out then you sweep in the the beautiful light energy if you get one of these keep it on your altar and what you do with this is literally like this now here's what's really cool about this you can go ahead and turn the light back on alexis thank you um <clears throat> during my ooh, sorry <laughs> okay during my ayahuasca journey this weekend <clears throat> when when we call her mama but when the spirit of the plant came to me in the journey right at the beginning she had a broom and she was going like this and she was showing me all the places in my life where there are cobwebs right now stuck energy and she would go into the corners and she even came into the building she walked me through the sage goddess building and showed me all the places and the people here who have cobwebs and how to clear them out so it's really interesting. I, we, we planned to have these in, in the spec sale this week before I went into Journey. <coughs> when I came out of Journey and looked at them, it, it was a whole different tool. This is, about, this is about clearing out the shit of your life, removing the energetic cobwebs, <coughs> moving energy around, bless you. Hannah and Golnaz are allergic to the bullshit too. They're just ready to <laughs> clear it out. <laughs> okay, who got the light broom? The light one went to Carly. Carly got the light broom. Congratulations. And who got the shadow broom? Renee. Renee got the shadow broom. Congrats, girl. I know Renee wanted that. So cheers to sweeping out your BS. Mm -hmm. And and maybe the spirit of the plant travels with it because it's so it's so present with me right now. Maybe that's part of why these were saved until today. Because by working with them myself, I'm imparting an additional layer of energy around bullshit clearing. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter if you use a light or shadow one. They just, you know, they're really not light and shadow. I just said that because there is one is white in tone and the other one is sort of the black in tone. But they're they're both about clearing out the shadow to, to yield more light. Do you know what I mean? So they both have the same purpose. It's just whether you like more of the light tones or the shadow tones. I don't know how you choose. I'm a, I'm a one of each girl. I'm not really an either or girl. I've always really had a problem with that. So um, congrats to you guys. So Stephanie, there's only one stone for procrastination. And like I said, it will kick your butt straight out of any kind of apathy you're stuck in. And that's banana night. My husband calls it banana night. But it's not banana night. It's banana night. And um, they call it the writer's block stone because it gets you past writer's block. But it also gets you past life blocks. Um, okay. Fodden Quartz. I know. It sure does have all that going on. Okay, let me teach you about Fodden Quartz. Are you ready? It's one of my favorite things. The man who founded Mindat.org, who I've told you about before, Rock Courier, who passed away about almost three years ago now, um, was a mentor to me. And every time I went to see him, he taught me something new. And one time he spent a whole hour teaching me about Fodden Quartz, and I'm going to pass that on to you. And whenever he taught me something, he gifted me a piece. And I'll tell you something, I've never learned more from one human being in such a short period of time. He mined every stone he sold. And so he told, had stories of when he mined and all the things. Um, we'll come back to opal rings in just a second, I think, yeah? Okay, so here's how an, um, uh, Fodden Quartz, let me have another piece just in case I need to, maybe that one, yeah, this one. Um, fodden Quartz doesn't grow like the other kids. Fodden Quartz grows on a string. And you can always see the strings. Do you see that like white line that goes across here? It's an even white line. Do you see it? See right under, above my finger? I'll trace it for you. Do you see that line? So Fodden Quartz gets pulled by that line. I don't know how to explain it to you. Nobody knows why, but no other quartz grows like that. Every other quartz grows in vertical points that end in terminations. Fodden Quartz doesn't. Fodden Quartz has a line of energy within it that pulls it and it stretches it. And so instead of being like tall and, and pointy, Fodden Quartz is flat and, and, and wide almost tabular okay it's not like the other kids now fodden quartz grew by being pulled and stretched and that's what it does for your energy okay so there's a cautionary tale with these you should only work with fodden quartz if you're at a place in your life where you like you know what I'm done 
living in the past. I'm done being stuck. I'm, I'm done hitting all these roadblocks and obstacles. I'm done being discouraged. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And I'm ready for something new and I want it to be big and I want it to happen. I have used Fodden Quartz to grow Sage Goddess at every stage. And every time I go into meditation with my Fodden Quartz, I've been working with the same piece for almost eight years, I get shown how to pull what I'm doing to the next level how to pull the best out of myself. Again, be careful what you wish for, okay? Because sometimes you don't wanna grow, you don't wanna be pulled, you don't wanna stretch, it's uncomfortable. And sometimes you are ready. Sometimes you're like, you know what? If something doesn't pull me and and grow me, I'm not gonna make any progress. I tell you that so you can make a good choice about whether these are right for you or not. Now, all of these, this is the largest fodden we've ever had in our inventory. This is the, a different Okay. We have two different sizes. Bear with me, you guys. My vision is just so shitty anymore. We have two extra large and one large. So those are the two extra large. Okay. So this is the large piece. You know, could make an attractive pendant or a weapon or a nice charging plate. (laughs) Honestly, this could be a wand too, right? You could use that to open circle. Right? Oyuki says, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, right? <laughs> okay, so this is the large of the Fodden, and this is $64. Keep in mind, you can put this on your altar, and you can use it to charge all of your other items. You can put your other crystals on it. You can sit your, you know, your perfume on it, right? It's a nice flat surface for your altar, so this can become your altar tray. So I have one large, and this is the only piece. And then I have two extra large for 74. Honestly, it's a deal of a lifetime. I've paid $74 for a piece of Fodden Quartz. It's about that big. Do you get a whole slice of it for your altar? Yeah. (laughs) Enjoy that, you guys. I thought you would, I thought you'd get a kick out of that. Um, When I'm able to get more Fodden, I will bring it to you so that you can stretch yourself out. Think about that. And I remember Rock telling me, imagine that. Imagine this quartz being yanked across the earth because that's really what's happening with Fodden Quartz. It's a pretty awesome um, process. Okay. Um, Do you want to do opal rings? Mm -hmm. Let's do opal rings. Okay. I see you, Priscilla. Okay. Size five went to Emily and Shiloh. Okay, Emily and Shiloh are my itty bitty ladies. I'm a size five. Five and a half is Lisa Lopez. Five and a half is Lisa Lopez. Six is Renee Hilton. Six is Renee. Six and a half went to Kathy. Six and a half is Kathy. Seven is Eve and Tammy. Seven is Eve and Tammy. Eight is Kayla Page and Dina. Okay, eight is Kayla Page and Dina. Eight and a half is Kelly Bennett. Eight and a half is Kelly Bennett. Nine is Cassie and Cindy. And nine and a half went to Jessica and Medusa. And nine and a half is Jessica and Medusa. Congratulations, girls. We have matching opal rings. These were the Ethiopian opal rings that we uh, talked about earlier. So I'm so happy for you. You will love that ring. Cheers to your transformation. Um, Hi, Lori Gerard. I sure can see you. Carla wants the Aztec calendar, please. (laughs) Yes, darling. Okay. Congratulations to all of you with the opal. Okay, I have 10 of these. These are your Aztec um, calendars. Although keep in mind, it's much more than a calendar. This is a portal and this is a solar portal. In the center of this is the Aztec sun god. And then you have the eight rays of the star, or of the sun, I should say, all the way around. And every single one of these images are sacred symbols in the Aztec pantheon. And so it's said that when you hang this in your space, it represents the sun. So it represents power, possibility, potential. Um, But more than that, this is a solar portal. And so this is a sacred symbol. And, And just by meditating on the Aztec calendar image, they didn't use calendars the way we did. It wasn't like checking the date. This was more about anchoring energies of a civilization. And the way they looked at time was that time was a measure of energy. And so um, 
these are all made in Mexico has the hook on the back or on the top so all you have to do is put a nail in and just hang it right there um, when I have things like this I like to run sari ribbon through here and have the where I hang it be a little bit more decorative so you can think about doing that too um, and so there are 10 of these they are 99 a piece and again that includes your shipping these are substantial they're not they're not super heavy they're not gonna you know you'll be able to put it safely into your wall with a nail but they are substantial there is definitely a weight to these pieces and so just letting you get an up-close vision aren't they beautiful it's kind of different for us but I thought we've studied so much Aztec history this year that I thought you would really enjoy bringing some of the art into your home as well and so we imported these directly from Mexico for you and it looks like those are gone congratulations everybody <laughs> I know they're very exciting because the detail on these is really nicely done and we were super picky there were some that we looked at that didn't have enough of the detail really finely carved out this one you can see every symbol and as you get up close you'll just be mesmerized by all the detail that you see so enjoy that one right <laughs> Woo, that was fun okay so we'll come back and announce those let's do the titanium aura spheres okay oh this is this is aura obsidian <laughs> I have three of these. They're titanium obsidian. They're not quartz. So not only have I never had titanium quartz spheres before, I've never had titanium obsidian. I'm sorry, what? And wait for it, $59 a piece. These should be $159. $59 a piece, there's three, ready, go. <laughs> I know, it's just like, ready, go. I don't even know what to say. It's nuts. Congratulations. You're welcome. I love you. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy New Year. That was a gift. <laughs> okay, those are gone too. Holy shit. What? <laughs> you, you know it's good when I'm like, I kind of can't get my shit together for a second. You're going to lose your damn mind. You're going to be so glad you got that. Uh, marry everything. Okay. We still have a couple things I need to show you. Yes. Okay. Necklaces? Let's do necklaces. I have two different necklaces. I know. There's an eye in that one. Faith, that's the obsidian. That eye is the obsidian. That's why I said, holy shit. I mean, the, the way the aura grabbed that eye, that natural eye of the stone, and, and worked with it, that is magic right there. You meditate with that too long, you're going to go live in the mothership and end up in another dimension. But like I always say, if, you ever, if the mothership ever lands for you, tell her to wait for me. Don't leave without me. You do not get on that spaceship without me. I want to go back too. Okay. <laughs> and I'm kind of not getting... Um, if they're going to come for somebody, they're going to come for us. You know what I mean? And I'll wait for you too. It's only fair. <laughs> okay. Um, this is my favorite gemstone necklace of the whole year. I'll just be honest because it's sapphire and it's orange sapphire, which is known as Pod Parasha sapphire, which is the most rare and the most valuable of all the sapphires. It has red sapphire. Um, and it has brown sapphire and then there's a little bit of blue still right because this is a natural piece so you still do find a little bit of the blue kind of mixed in with everything multi sapphire in these autumn hues I have okay I have five of these these are 275 each but again, the most expensive colors of sapphire that I've ever offered you before. Isn't it beautiful? It's all the fall, autumn colors. We've had blue sapphire, you've seen that before, but we've never had red and orange and the brown and the green all together. Now what you have to know is green sapphire and orange sapphire are the two colors of sapphire for financial prosperity. The other colors of sapphire don't bring prosperity. And so one of the things you can do with these too, if you don't want to wear it as a necklace, because I like to do this, is you can actually wear it as 
a multi-strand bracelet. And for me, they always go exactly evenly around three times, like that. And then you have a multi-strand sapphire bracelet for under $300, which is pretty good. Or you can wear it as an anklet. That's another option for you too. Aren't they beautiful? Okay, and then I have ruby. The ruby necklace, I only have seven of these. And these are um, $220. Fully color matched natural rubies. Is that beautiful? Into that pink, into that deep blood red, fading out to the clear, the white, translucent, and then back into those deeper shades. And so ombre color matched rubies. Isn't it beautiful? And one of the things you can do is put your pendants on these necklaces instead of chains. So then you have the energy of the crystals. So rubies, when you get my crystal lore book next year, you'll read about this, but rubies have always been worn to protect travelers and warriors. They're used in the Amazon rainforest for that. They've been used throughout Africa and the Middle East in biblical history. And what they used to do is actually take the inside of the ring and put a ruby inside to keep you safe while you were traveling. So if you're going through a period of time right now where you don't feel safe or where you're traveling a lot, you know, and you want to feel safer as you travel, let me not get your necklace caught in my hair. <laughs> um, this is the perfect choice for you. Isn't it beautiful? And they're adjustable. So this one goes from 16 or 18, I should say, to 17 to about 19 inches in length. So they're, they are a little bit adjustable. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, so again, the ruby, I have seven necklaces for 220. Think about these as holiday gifts, because again, we won't have these again before the holidays. It will be middle of 2019 before I can find any gemstone necklaces like this again. And then this is the only the only orange and green sapphire necklace we've ever had. Isn't that beautiful? And so only, only five of those, and those are 275. Okay, so those are our necklaces. Aren't they beautiful? I know. They are really dreamy in a way, and especially the, one of the things you have to consider is those are all hand strung and hand color matched. I don't know how they do it. That's not a job that I could do. I don't have the attention span to sit down and do that, but I sure am grateful that there are people on this planet who do because they make beautiful things like that. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, they're all handmade. Um, it's it, always destined for greatness, said gorgeous ruby. I'm not usually a fan of ruby. And that's part of why I like those ombres because I think if it was all the same color ruby, it wouldn't be as interesting. There's something about the sort of the bleeding in of the colors and how they ombre it from that white clear all the way out to the pink and then the red. It, to your eye, it's much more interesting. And so they had those single color of, you know, single tone of ruby, but I was like, eh, that wasn't as interesting to me. So I'm glad to know that you like that as well. Okay, um, I have, let's do that um, smoky with the red epidote. Only a few pieces left tonight. Are you guys having fun? It's been a fun uh, sale, hasn't it? A lot of really good energy tonight too. All right, this piece I cherry picked. There's, it's one of a kind. I brought this home from Denver. natural hexagonal shape of this crystal okay look at the layers of red epidote that's the inclusion right there that is for protection and manifestation and smoky quartz is for protection this is the most beautiful smoky and red epidote piece i've ever seen and it is two hundred dollars should we try yeah, let's do that. Alexis is going to light it up for us so you can see. <gasps> oh, <my laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> oh my God, so There's a whole universe inside of that piece. Oh, Isn't it right. incredible? That's the back. And what's really cool about that is you can actually touch the epidote on the back. Usually when a stone is included and it's all polished, you can't actually touch the, the epidote crystals. But on the back of this one, you can but then on the front you get all of that. So this will lay nice and flat on your altar. You can use it as an altar tray. Isn't that beautiful? To charge your crystals with protection and manifestation energies. Woo! I'm sorry that we only had one. I know that's really shitty <laughs> sometimes when it's a really awesome thing like that, but um, I'll be excited to see who got that one too. Janet, Janet did Janet get it? Uh, <laughs> cheers, Janet. 
Kombucha cheers to Janet. Mm. Yeah, you have to be careful. If you get too caught up in, in the ooing and aahing, you forget to say sold and then the thing is gone. <laughs> so you have to, you have to like train yourself to pay attention. Congratulations, Janet. We are thrilled for you. That's a one of a kind. And I hauled that one personally home because I was obsessed with that piece the whole time we were in Denver. So you made a really good choice tonight on that. Um, this you have to see. We have three pieces only, I think. Yes. Of the Fire Labradorite. It's orange and purple. Do you remember the Fire Labradorite from Denver? I know, Leanne's like, are you glad to drink kombucha again? I had to give it up for ayahuasca preparation, and it was the hardest part of my diet. I was fine giving up alcohol. I was fine giving up sex. I was fine giving up sugar. I was fine giving up meat. You tell me I can't have kombucha, I'm going to cry. Um... And it's interesting, I still haven't been able to touch alcohol yet. I'm going on 10 days now without any wine or anything, but it just doesn't taste good to me anymore. Sometimes you come out of a journey and you can't tolerate toxins in your body anymore. It's a really interesting thing. Okay, I want to show them this, and I don't know if the light is helping or not. Okay. This is what we call Fire Labradorite. It's one pocket in Madagascar. And I need to show you because it's orange and purple, but you have to hit it at the right, um, the right angle. Let me see if I can find it, and then I can show you. Perhaps my flashlight. No. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now. Ooh, oh, okay. Yeah. It, yeah. We we just saw it. It's like. <laughs> up, 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 up. Okay. Let me find it again. Okay. It's so tricky because it's it. Oh. Okay, are you seeing it? <laughs> it's the whole face of it, but it's about whether like I'm showing it at the right angle to you so that you can see it. Ooh, ooh. Like, I can see it. Yeah. Nice labradorite. Nice kitty. Come on. Like you gotta coax it out of there. I'm I'm gonna show it to you, like one way or the other. This is gonna cooperate with me. It's right, it's right there, and it's like, come on, dude. <gasps> okay, <laughs> did you see it? It's. It <laughs> All right, it's it's playing with me now. There it is. Do you see it? That's that. It really made me work for it. It's kind of a jerk, but I got it. Okay, so you see the peach and the purple, and that's fire labradorite. You you can't find this anywhere else in the world. That combination of orange and purple, and I they only had three of these at the show, so that's all there is. Um, the fire labradorite is one hundred and fifty dollars. And there's only three. I kept the fourth, and there's no more. And I had to. I kept it as really as a teaching piece, because one day people aren't going to believe me that there was orange and purple Labradorite. And I'm going to be able to say, yes, there is, and I have a piece I can prove it. I don't want to fully take the next 15 minutes. Oh, there we are. Yep, thank you. <sighs> <laughs> Do you see how the whole thing is lit? It's not just one part, it's every single part. There's nothing on the face of these pieces that isn't glowing. It's just a matter of getting it to the right angle. But I'm so glad I got it for you guys to play. It's like playing an instrument. Isn't it beautiful? Okay. So the three of those, and then I'm gonna show you a couple of other things and then we'll come back and we'll talk about what might be left. So we have red lipidolite. Oh, those fire labs. Don't miss the fire lab. I asked them if they had more, and they just looked at me. Because I, I bought what I could. I had the slices, do you remember, in Denver? So excited for you guys who got that, because that's the rarest lab Labradorite in the world right now, and that's coming directly from the source. Okay. If you have anxiety, you need to just say yes. This is red lipidolite from Brazil. It's a brand new find this year. Do you see the red? Lipidolite is normally just purple. But this either has hematite or tourmaline in it, 
which is causing the coloration. They are doing lab tests now to understand the specific inclusion. This is such a new find that they're not even sure whether it's hematite or tourmaline. If it's tourmaline, that means this is anti-anxiety and heart healing. If it's hematite, that means this is anti-anxiety and protection. Either way, it's rad, okay? Um, and so I have one large piece this is the large again same thing all that beautiful red it's either tourmaline or hematite coating on top of the purple this one to me looks like a sort of an elongated heart this piece is 170 our regular price was 190 and you're saving shipping for the rarest tourmaline or lipidolite in the world not that cool and I would just, this is for relieving anxiety, so I would, you could sleep with this piece, you could meditate with this piece. It's a crown chakra stone, so you should meditate right here, but it calms and centers the central nervous system. And then this is the extra large, this is the largest piece that we have in-house, and this piece is 370. Isn't that incredible? And you know what's really cool about lipidolite? Watch this. It's mica, so it comes off in sheets. And so you can actually pick a piece off. Do you see that? Whoop. You can actually pick a piece off and rub it between your fingers. And it leaves this like kind of shimmery mica on your fingers, and that's actually the lithium. That's actually lithium. So this isn't just like metaphysical woo-woo, this is actually an anxiety reliever. It actually contains lithium, you're not gonna overdose, but it certainly will calm your central nervous system. So only two pieces of this, isn't it gorgeous? This is just a specimen piece to keep in your home. And isn't it gorgeous? One of my favorite things of the whole show. I know, <laughs> I'm not gonna lick it, but you could. It would be safe for you to lick it. Mm -hmm. I know. Um, okay, and then the last thing we have for you are um, Rose Quartz Skull Pipes, because we were doing a fun Samhain edition of our spec sale. So this is an active working pipe made entirely of Rose Quartz. These were all hand carved, cute little skulls. Can you grab the lights for me again? Because it's like kind of washing out his face. And then, so you put your your herb of choice in there. I'm not gonna be judgy. <laughs> Put your herb, your fun in there. And then you smoke right through here and it works. I heard that from a friend. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We, 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 were, we were at a show one time and we, we had something that we wanted to smoke and we were, but we didn't have a pipe. <laughs> so we're running around and it's like, doesn't anybody have a gemstone pipe? So maybe you should travel with yours. You never know where you will be, where you have an occasion where you want to be working with some herbs and you don't have access to it. It's legal in Canada as of today. Congratulations. It's, uh, cannabis is legal in California, which is why a lot of us are in a good mood a lot of the time. It's all fine. <laughs> it's all fine here in California. Okay. So these are $69 and I have 10 of them. Isn't that an awesome, this would be a fun gift. If you know someone who, you know, who does smoke and who likes to collect interesting pipes. We had Labradorite ones in the shop. You can turn that back on for me, Alexis, um, this week. But the Rose Quartz one, it's like, it's like smoking love. <laughs> so you got to put something good in there. A little Damiana in there. Mm. A little ceremonial tobacco in there. A little, um, oh gosh, all kinds of fun things you could do. I'm sure I don't have to tell you about what you can put in your pipe. Um, my mom used to say that, put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> she just didn't know later what that would mean for me. My parents never do. <laughs> Congratulations to you guys who are getting those. Um, and I think, oh no, one last thing. So you may have noticed we haven't done our charity item yet for tonight. And so it's a beautiful place to finish our evening. <laughs> Um, the same beautiful artists who make our besoms also have made a very limited number of these selenite wands. You might remember this from a few weeks ago. Um, these are naturally carved single terminated selenite wands that they have adorned with 
black tourmaline, garnet, sunstone, yellow appetite for manifestation, rose quartz for love, aquamarine for emotional purification, labradorite for magic, and stalactite amethyst for peace and detoxification, plus opal aura quartz cluster. How beautiful is that? for intention and strength and magnification of energy. There's a little hook on the side and there's a feather with a clip. Now we've packaged it like this so it doesn't come bent, but you will receive this and when you get it, you take your feather out, you clip it to your wand, and then you and I will have matching selenite wands. Isn't it beautiful? And so you can use this to open circle just like I do. It's one of my favorite things. And so I have one, a couple of you had them from before, and now whoever gets it tonight will have, I think, there's only four or five of these um, in existence, I think. Maybe half a dozen. I think they made like 12. Oh, was there 12 yeah. total? It was one time. Um, and so this is 225. And whoever purchases this wand, uh, your entire purchase is going to the charity of your choice tonight. And I, we thought this was the perfect charity item because it's energies of balance and beauty. And so we are sending your $225 tonight, whoever wins this, to a charity that means something to you. And so, and you don't have to choose now. You can always decide later. And um, I always have to say, especially because there's new people, Sage Goddess doesn't use that as a tax deduction. This is simply just a beautiful donation. We don't, we don't do it for that reason. We do it simply to put energy back into the system because that's the key to our success, is constantly returning the flow, returning the energy to the world, to the community, and, and uh, we really believe. It's our way of tithing is putting that money back into the energetic system, so. Isn't it beautiful? All right, who got this one? The charity item. Mm -hmm. The wand went to Holly Wise. All right, Holly. Congratulations. So happy for you. You have to tell me where your $225 is going. Um, and it's really cool, actually, on our website on sagegoddess.com, there's a, a give back uh, tab at the top where you can see all of the charities that we have donated to over the years. Um, both are just our own personal donations. When there are storms and different tragedies that happen, we donate. Um, last year we donated to, uh, during all of those different tropical storms, lots of different organizations. And we also include your organizations there as well. So it's a fun, fun way to track all the different places that your offerings have gone in order to help heal the world through the work that we do. So congratulations, Holly. Looking forward to seeing i know isn't it beautiful oh holly said we save the best for last it honestly holly it takes my breath away and i i've this isn't my first rodeo you know what i mean so when i say something's one of the most beautiful things i've ever seen i have to absolutely agree with you and i'm thrilled um that it's coming home to you it's more beautiful in person holly the lights sometimes make it difficult to show all the detail when you get it i think you'll want to just spend a few minutes gazing at it and i don't blame you for that it's it's a treasure and a half so congratulations and thank you for helping us give back to the world. It's beautiful work that we do together. Okay. Um, we didn't do the kunzai. Or should we save it for next time? I think we'll save it for next time. Right. A couple things we didn't get to tonight, but that's okay. There, there's more for next time. Okay, so we have a few things left. Um, do you want to? Yes. Alexis is going to show and tell. Our gentlemen are still here. These are $2,200, all hand-carved in Brazil skulls with the flame hair. He's got good hair. You have to, you have to give him that. <laughs> yes, that's good for that. Okay. Um, kunzite next time, which is for healing, not past life trauma, but that's what we use the pitocrosite for. But kunzite's about healing current trauma. I have a few pieces, but I'll save them for next time. <laughs> Yeah, we have a few of the mixed sapphire necklaces left. The the orange and the green and the red. I think we have two, more. two of those left. And then is there anything else that I should tell them about? And anything else we should announce before we sign off? Ah, uh, Ariel, you cracked me up. Yeah, hey, wasn't it fun tonight? Yeah. I think I think the um, one of the big hits was the sound bags. And that, that's, I don't blame you guys. 
we do sound right around here and that bag is overflowing you are going to feel like a kid when your goodie bags arrive mm. okay coral's asking about the winners of fire lab so why don't we go through that <coughs> They went to Kate's Picks. Okay, Kate's Picks. The other Lisa Liza. The other Lisa Liza. And Angel Dominguez. Angel Dominguez. Congratulations. That's the fire labradorite. And that's another one where you're going to lose your mind when, when you see it in person. It's hard to even show you that, but the purple-orange is, is mesmerizing, so congrats to you guys who got those. Is there anything else that we did not announce? Anything else you guys are waiting on? Ruby necklaces. Eve and Wooey Lover. Sarah and Deborah. Sarah and Deborah. Christian and April. Christian and April. And Talin. And Talin. Congratulations to all of you with your ruby necklaces. May they keep you safe. Also, the other thing I should tell you about ruby, especially with that necklace, that's a life force necklace. So when you're not feeling well, when you feel like you're coming down with a cold, always put ruby on. It strengthens the central life force what you call the, the chi or the chi or the prana, whatever name you give that life force, it's all the same thing. And ruby is one of the only stones, especially if you do ruby fuchsite, um, that's another, that's a more powerful combination even for strengthening the life force, but whenever you're not feeling good, um, and if you know anyone who's seriously ill, they should be wearing ruby, carrying ruby, it's the only stone that we know of that really does transform and allow the chi or the prana or the chi to flow more freely through the body. So Sarah Lucas, it might be a good one for you to think about going forward. Jessica is asking a great question. Titanium, obsidian, those three magic uh, spheres. Those went to Jessica. Jessica. Mia's touch. Mia's touch. And Monique. And Monique. And, and Got the crazy spheres. Questions. No, I'll be posting the event page, and I put the link in there. Okay, times. cool. So we just announced the aura spheres. Um, and then, so what might, here's how this goes now. If you want, you have 24 hours to pay. You're going to send your payment to gems at sagegoddess.com. Um, and then tomorrow morning, the team is going to list all the names of everybody who won and what you won on the event page so that you can um, see really clearly in case you have any questions. Go right to the event page tomorrow. I'm so glad, glad that you guys had fun tonight. I had a blast with you. I knew this was going to be a really good one. We, we always try to like make it even more exciting next time. I don't know that we can really top tonight. It's kind of kind of really awesome. But I will tell you, we are about maybe 15% unpacked from Denver, maybe 20%. Oh, so we haven't even scratched the surface. Somebody asked me yesterday where the little lapidolite penises are, and I was like... Honestly, I don't even know where they are. We haven't we haven't unpacked them yet. And then we haven't we're, we're about twenty percent unpacked to Denver, and then we got two international shipments of holiday products this week too. So now those pallets are sitting on top of the Denver pallet. So um, get excited! <laughs> it's really fun things to go. Um, rose quartz pipes. I think those are gone for now. Yeah. Um, there might be some. I want to show you a couple of things on the website. Okay really super quickly these are my three favorite things on the website right now not that the rest isn't great but you know what you're not supposed to have favorite kids sometimes i have favorite kids um i wear patchouli pure patchouli every day uncut okay and it is an aged patchouli which just means it's deeper and i think i think it's sexier people have been asking me for my patchouli for a long time if you wear it uncut then why can't you sell it uncut and i want your patchouli in the exact one you wear there are 30 bottles of my uncut patchouli we're calling it athena's pocket patchouli because this is the bottle that i travel with um, of my actual patchouli that i wear on the website today i don't know if there's any left um, but there's only 30 because it's a specific kind of patchouli and it's pure it's uncut um, how does it differ from dirty it it's this is just pure patchouli dirty has a couple of other ingredients in it for the dirt this is just pure but it's my patchouli so if you want my patchouli which is darker it's a little older it's a little more resinous um, I like to call it not your mama's patchouli okay um, we have trollite angels in the shop if I didn't put these on the website today, I would have put them in spec seal. So I just want you to know how special these are. These are manifestation angels. Trollite is this really rare blue stone, blue mineral from Brazil. And it only comes from Brazil. And they never did angels before this year. And so if you are trying to manifest better health or peace or happiness, aren't they beautiful? And again, what a holiday gift. 
right? And every purchase at sagegoddess.com today, again, you don't even have to have a code, is coming with a free Sugar Skull sticker that we designed here at SG, that's our art. And then you're getting Turritella Agate, which is the Stone of Shamanic Journey, and Leopard Skin Jasper, which is the Stone of Integration of Journey Wisdom. And that's in honor of the fact that I just finished my journey. And then the last thing that's in the shop today, did you see these lockets? We ordered these, I think, six months ago because I wanted them for holiday. I wanted a locket. And, <coughs> bless you, it's magnetized. And look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Like it's like green and purple and blue with a little crystal moon and star on the most beautiful chain. And so these little moon lockets are in the shop today too. Isn't that fun? And so what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to put a white sage, a little bit of white sage in there, crush it up with my finger, and that way I can always carry clearing. But you could put a little picture in there. You could put a lock of your little one's hair in there or a little picture if you wanted to, so those are on the website too. Aren't they fun? I love the locket so much. I'm glad you're excited about it too. When I, when I look forward to something like that for as many months as I did leading up to this, it reminded me of something my grandmother had. There's something about the link of the chain that's different. The whole thing, they're just, they're beautifully made. And so these are in the shop for you as well today. Your code is ANCESTOR for 14% off. Don't forget it. And I will look forward to seeing you. We have even more to come tomorrow. Tomorrow is sabbatical. What else is tomorrow? I don't even remember what's on our calendar for tomorrow. Um, <laughs> all the things tomorrow. It would. Uh, oh, we have our OLAS uh, part two of our debrief tomorrow. If you're in my Of Light and Shadow class, you're going to see me tomorrow for the second part of our debrief, and then we have sabbatical at 5 p.m. So all my sabbatical sisters, I'll see you then. All right, you guys. Have a beautiful rest of your evening. I'll see you soon. Thanks for being here.